everyone, Ashley and Joel here with Ashley S. Maneri Photography. Today we're going to do a tutorial on how to use a prism to take more dramatic and artsy photos. When you choose a prism, you want to get it long enough so that you can hold onto it without getting your hand in the shot. And this one is six inches long by one inch wide, and you want to make sure it's glass and not plastic. And we'll put a link below to where we got this one on Amazon. In today's demonstration, we're using a Canon 35mm f2 lens because the prism can cover a lot of the front element because it's a small front element. That way you can, use, you can cover most of the frame with the prism. If you use a larger front element lens, the prism will be smaller in the frame. Just focus and expose normally and put the prism in front of your lens. As you rotate the prism, you see sharp mirror images and refracted rainbow images. You can get almost anything around you by rotating the prism, except directly in front and behind you. You can also get above and below you. Move the prism further from the lens to get it smaller in the frame, and closer to the lens to get it bigger in the frame. Look around and find elements you want to include, and angle the prism to add them to your shot. Here are some photos we've taken using the prism. We really like to use it because it's a really fun way to add drama or to tell a story. We hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. We definitely had fun sharing with you. We would love to hear from you. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. We would love to see your photos. Share them on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, and you can use the hashtag AEPRISM. If you're already subscribed to our channel, we really appreciate it. Thank you so much for being here. And if you're not subscribed, take a second to subscribe so you don't miss future videos. And we will see you in our next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.